I think single-use plastic carry bags are, are really an iconic illustration of the way we've come to almost abuse plastics, that we expect to have its convenience for an instant to carry home some shopping. The goods in those carry bags are already pretty well packaged. Do we really need a single-use throwaway bag to ca just to carry it home in that we'll then discard? Something really, really short-lived in its use to us, but very, very persistent in its life as an item of waste, whether that's in, in landfill or whether it's in the environment as litter. I wanted to focus my research looking at the disintegration of carrier bags because it's something that well, I've grown up with, that you've, you have a right to get a carrier bag in the supermarket. And in the last few years, it's completely turned on its head where now there's a levy where you have to pay 10p to get that carrier bag. And we're understanding the negative effects it can have within the environment. But on top of that, now materials are being designed that say they're degradable or biodegradable or compostable. And I wanted to do the research looking into are they actually doing what they say on the tin? If I was to put this bag in the ocean or in the soil, is it actually going to break down into natural components in a quick time frame? The most surprising result of this research was knowing that not one of the bags could completely vanish or completely degrade in all of the environments. And particularly in the soil and the marine environment, some of the bags could still hold a full bag of shopping. So a full bag of shopping that we typically expect to get on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope that this research can teach people like you and me to have a look at the label and think, is this doing what it says it will do? Is it actually biodegradable? Is it compostable? And it really opens our eyes that some things can be labelled in a way that we just need to take greater care of understanding. I think we need clearer policy and international standards to define what we mean when we say something is biodegradable. And the key thing there is, in what environmental setting? Are we talking about it biodegrading in an industrial composting facility at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, at specific conditions of pH and humidity and oxygen availability? Or are we talking about something biodegrading in the natural environment, in the sea, in the river, in a soil, because they're very, very different conditions. And what the research we've just completed shows is that for the materials we examine, the plastic bags we examine, they simply weren't reliably degrading at any meaningful timescale in the natural environment. All of my lifetime I've been conditioned to expect to have a free single-use carrier bag available at the instant I want it, at the checkout. I can take it, I can have it for, a, for an instant to carry my shopping home and I can discard it without a care. Now we need to reverse those behaviours and I think the tax on single-use carrier bags is a, is a great step in the, in the right direction. Unfortunately I think on the wider issue of plastics it's going to take some generations to, to decouple our addiction with single-use plastics.